that my mother grew up in Chilmark, and my mother and my father, they were both involved in the Chilmark Grange. There my mother was the master, my father was also, they held various offices, and that was the top one. When I became 14, I was a member. They had an initiation that they called Ride the Goat. In order to become a member, you had to ride the goat. I shouldn't say this, but that chapter's closed. You didn't really have to ride the goat, but you (laughs) did have to memorize a lot of things. And then you had, the meeting was always done in a certain ritual, and you had parts that you had to memorize. You were supposed to say without your book, your Chilmark Grange Mm -hmm. Manual. And when you were 14, what were your, did your responsibilities? Do you become immediately one of the three graces, I think we were called, Flora and Pomona and Ceres. And during the meeting, there's a certain ritual that tells a story and you each have things you have to say. And um, there's business that's conducted too. But And then they always have a program and they have lots of music, and there was a piano player, and Verda Morris was one I remember that played at ours. She was a member who could play the piano, and you did a lot of marching around the hall in a certain pattern, and she would play this march music. Anyway, it was fun, and we also had dances and cakewalks and uh, ways to raise money. We would have these dances of all all ages. When you got to high school, you were usually 14 in high school, and we had, I remember some of our membership, like Herbie Hancock was, and he was in my class, and Jean, and Pat, and Norma West, and Pret Morris, and I mean, you know, I remember who, who was there my age, and then you dance, and I dance. would dance with somebody named Mr. Campbell. I mean, you you dance with him whether you, you know, he was old enough to be your dad. Sometimes it was. What kind of music was it for the dance? Of waltzes and jitterbugs? No jitterbugs, really. We didn't do that because of all ages, but it was waltzes. And it was primarily music of the 40s is what it was. And earlier... And we sang a lot. I just remember lots of music. And everybody knew the words. Monday night, we went to Grange. (laughs) I think it was probably once a month. It was a wonderful social event for people. The Grange was centered around agriculture and farming. And, you know, it, it had wonderful beginnings. But it reached a point where people just... Well, it was a matter of, you know, the changes in today's world. And they had television at home. They didn't start, that made a lot of changes in what they did for fun. But it was a nice social life to have the Grange to go to. And it was a good sharing, I think, of the different generations. But I have to tell you an interesting story for me was to go to the antiques show on Fridays that they have in the hall up here and to find a Chilmark Grange manual. It's a little little book, so big. And in it is the order of the meeting, et cetera. And they were not, they were given out to, to officers in the Grange. Everybody had your own little manual because you had to memorize from it. And I picked it up and I said, oh, I used to belong to the Chilmark Grange. And look, here's the manual. And I opened it up, and my name in my handwriting was in the front. So it was my manual, which after I, you know, I turned it in after I got through with that um, position. I wonder where it came from. Well, after it disbanded, they sold everything. They probably sold it to a book dealer. Who knows? Did you buy it? Of course. It's $15. (laughs) But it was the idea that there it was, and it wasn't just a... Chilmark Grange Manual, it was my Chilmark Grange Manual. I felt like the dealer should have given it to me, but he didn't. 